Barnum, you were watching DOC TV. Cats out of ANT. Mm. Um, uh, my band, the first band I had was Guilty Pleasure. Guilty Pleasure, yeah. Yeah. Um, the reason why I started that band is because I, I really, I literally started with the old school bands like um, Tony Dub and Mike Bennett and Chris Robinson, Charles Green, God rest his soul, Big Mo, um, and and I wanted, I wanted to do. I'm, I was young, like, I was like 19, 20 years old. I wanted to do younger music. I was saying you know, 70s soul music. Right. I wanted to do younger music, so I just. I just called a couple of my homeboys from church music, you know, from church, you know, from church. You know. It's like, let's start a band, you know, so, you know, that, that's how we got started. And then, you know, everybody thought we was a bunch of strippers when you see the name on the fly. <laughs> yeah, I see, remember that. Guilty Pleasures. Um, so, then, you know, I, I got, you know, just got tired of that, so I just changed the name to Artistic Theory. And, you know, everybody went in their perspective directions. Daniel went to Asia. Um, CJ went on the road and plays. Um, Matt went out to LA. And I was just like, I don't just try my hand at the solo thing. And so, you know, that's where the whole bond came up. You know, came up out of that. Um, I was trying to take it to another level. Um, being that I'm from New York, you know, every time I go home, you know, I, I create a buzz being at home with the style of show that I've, you know, developed down south. You know, it's kind of, it's, it's real demand for, you know, for what I have, you know, back home. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to go and, and, and just pursue my dream. Audition for everything I can audition for. Singing background, writing. Um, just doing everything I can. We're going to see what happens from there. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I can act. I can act, I can act a fool. You know, so... You know, I'm, I'm looking at scripts right now as well. Um, I've been offered being a, a lot of plays. I just, I've been kind of intimidated by it because that's not my background. But, um, but you know, I've been taking some acting lessons. And, you know, I'm really, really starting to develop that craft. I just want to do it respectfully. No matter what I do, I just want to make sure I do it respectfully. Right. Let's try to jump into it because I can. Um, right now, I'm just totally, I focus a lot of energy on helping a lot of other people. Um, and so right now, I'm just really focusing on doing my own thing. I have an album that I'm working on right now. Have it named it, no release date or anything yet. Um, I'm really just trying to record as much music as possible. Catalog it. Let other people decide. Let, let everybody else decide when you get on the album. When we put it out. Um, what you listening to? Man, I, I listen to, I have a lot of friends that just send me music. They just send me music, you know. They be like, yo, go on SoundCloud and look at this person. Like, go on YouTube look at this person. Um, die Hard, the people that I listen to on a weekly basis, I listen to, I listen to a lot of a lot. I love a lot. I'm ashamed yet proud to say I have every album. Cause you know that you know the whole thing with the leak and everything. I mean, oh, it's dope. I'm a student of music. I really don't feel like I'm that great at it, but I study it, and and I just I regurgitate. You know, just I mean, but that's all we do as musicians anyway. We listen to a plethora of music, and then and I never I never try to swagger jack. I never want to swagger jack anybody, but it's all in food. So I, I've been listening to The Loud, I listen to D'Angelo a lot. Um, I love er Eric Badu. Like I can listen to Worldwide Underground at any mo at any moment. I've been uh, really listening to a uh, homeboy uh, Chad Shepard. You know he he played and set it off and uh, The Temptations. Uh, he's the guy that drove the milk truck. Um, he's a dope artist. Um, met him back home. He's back and forth in New York, and he's doing his thing as well. And um, I, I really, I really look up to him. He's got a, he has a dope sound. I like his writing style. Um, I listen to a lot of PJ Morton as well. PJ is my dude. I really feel like, uh, you know, him being a church boy, bona fide church boy, just to see the things that he does now with Maroon Five and 
you know, his own solo project um, on Young Money. It really gives uh, real music hope. I listen to a lot of gospel artists. Um, I, 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 as much as I live, as, as much as I, I do r and I don't really do gospel as much. But gospel is at the heart of what I, you know, of, of who I am. So I, I do. I listen to Karen Clark. I listen to. I listen to all the Clark sisters. I love Clark sisters. I love their harmonies. Um, a lot of my harmonies on my album be stacked so much because of what I learned from the Clark sisters. No man, um, I'm so open to everybody. Like, I, I, I probably, I probably would love to work on that Justin Timberlake tour right now. Like, that would probably, that would probably be the, the, the height of, of what I want to do. Whether it be the Justin Timberlake tour or, or the Beyonce tour, I, I love seeing that. Man. I, I know a lot of people. I just know so many people. Um, but the, 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 the bad thing about it is that I'm in Greensboro. I'm in Greensboro. And I think a lot of musicians in, in rural areas, um, they, they think, well, I'm going to just get that call and somebody will send me a plane ticket and I'm going to go to New York or LA. And it, it really doesn't work like that. You know, you really have to, you know, you have to really just grind, whether that be just pack a bag and go out there and just do it. Um, on Instagram, it's Von Newman Music, at Von Newman Music, that's V-O-N-N-E-U-M-A-N, Music, M-U-S-I-C. Um, on Facebook, it's Von Newman. Um, on Twitter, it's Von Newman Music as well. Um, you can just Google Von Newman Music and everything will come up. Oh, let's talk about the show. The show really was not a big deal. I, I really wanted to just do what I normally do, and that's just but on a great performance. From, from the feedback that I got, I think it was kind of awe-inspiring for other people because it's very seldom that you see somebody say that, yo, I'm going to just pass back and just go. What, what I took for granted, other people looked at like, wow, that's, that's dope. And, and at the end of the day, I can literally say Greensboro has pushed me you know, to doing that. Everybody's like, why are you here? Why are you here? Like, you know, I don't think I have fans. I look at everybody I come in contact with as a friend, you know, especially if you come to shows all the time, I'm, I'm familiar with you, but a lot of people are just like, why are you still here? You know, and, and when you hear that for years and years and years, you got to kind of, kind of take it in and be like, yeah, maybe I do have what it takes, you know, to go somewhere else. You know, you have musicians and, um, you know, and just, just music lovers in general that, Say they love hearing your voice. Like you have to really take that into consideration. Um, a friend of mine, she she told me recently. She said, "Your grind not hard enough." She said, "You ain't, you ain't grinding hard enough." I said, "What do you mean? I'm doing shows from here today. I do everything everybody asks me to do." She said, "Nah, you ain't, you ain't going hard enough. Like if that means that you need to go to Atlanta and sleep on the martyr, that's what you need to do." And I was like, "Yeah, maybe I should." But being from New York, I know that Penn Station breeds homelessness, you know, and that's the thing about being in North Carolina, I'm just comfortable. I'm comfortable here. Um, so now it's like, I'm not comfortable. I'm not comfortable with my career as it is, um, and I'm, I'm just ready to go. I've been doing this for a long time, and it's just, it's time to go. It's really just time to go. Especially when you got people that have Grammys. They're like, why are you still in North Carolina? Why? And I'm like, I don't know. So I step out on faith and do it. I don't have it, I don't have any, I don't have a deal on the table. I don't have no major jobs lined up. I'm just going. And I just know if I just go and do it, then everything will fall into place. If you never you know, hit the field. You can work out all day long, nobody gets to see you. All your friends come home and be like, man, you get big. <laughs> you know? You gotta, you gotta go out and you gotta get in the combine, you know? Put yourself in the draft. You know, and that's what I'm doing. I'm just putting myself in the light 
that I can be you know, shown the best way and, and um, be taken seriously in my craft. Vaughn Newman, you watching DOC TV, and I've just been documenting.